The day of the fire, I showed up for work. June 22nd, 1969. Basically, I was told there's a fire you know, and everybody's staying away from the river. Just another day on the Cuyahoga, or so they thought. Yeah, fires were, were common on the river. This time, a trestle bridge was burning right down to the water, which had become a toxic wasteland. They dumped those tanks and it would be a black slug in the river and nothing would grow in there, you know. We didn't have paint on the boat below the waterline. It was like an open septic tank. Uh, they had bodies of dead rats that were as big as dogs. Tim Donovan was a teenager at the time. Now the general rule was if you fell in the river, you went to the hospital. So you don't fall in the river. So the fire that day seemed insignificant. It was a small fire. They saw it right away and they put it out. Then it went national part of the new environmental movement with Mayor Carl Stokes and Congressman Lewis Stokes efforting the Clean Water Act and federal funding. I said, look, I said, if, if you guys would hire us, we'll try to build something. Army veteran and veteran of the river, Frank Samsel, founder of Samsel Supply, went right to work with his crew. When you know what you know today and you see what you saw, you, uh, why am I alive, you know? <laughs> because this is all they had. Tell me what puts frow means. Puts frow means cleaning lady. A 56-foot fishing boat salvaged from the bottom of Lake Erie and an innovative idea, mounting a vector truck, which is sort of like a vacuum. We were finishing the boat and welding and everything and picking up oil spills at the same time. Was there ever a point when you're trying to clean up the river where you thought, this is bad, like, this is awful, why am I doing this? Oh yeah, many times, you know, we were picking up garbage off the water. And it was a bad environment, so we didn't have people standing in line to, to say, geez, let me do that. Incredibly, the industrial waste was gone in under a decade. Reducing the sewage took longer, but now 50 years later... Things have dramatically changed. Tim's also worked very hard over the years restoring the Cuyahoga as director of Canalway Partners. Personally, I, yeah, there, there's a certain pride that I have for the city and you can eat the fish in the river now. You couldn't even find the fish in the river in 1969. If you did, there would probably have been a horror movie made after it. As for the Putzfrau, well, this little lady's retired, just like Frank, sitting on the shores, enjoying the view. I think this is just the beginning. In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.